Hi there, my name is Alex Shiba, I'm Solution Architect, Psycho USA. Hope you guys enjoy my blog series about SQL Server based logging with Psycho. And today we're gonna conclude with a walkthrough of the actual integration with LogPhoneNet dashboard component. So let's get started. Okay, so what you see here is the logging page of my test sandbox environment. So I'm gonna log in with my admin account to the desktop mode. And obviously, I'm going to launch this log viewer application. And remembering from the blog post directions, I'm actually reconfigured the same log viewer application to now use LogFunet dashboard as the underlying app that loads in this window. So, this is how it looks like. We first start in this summary page where we can see the break breakdown of all namespaces here and all events that happened in those namespaces but you generally want to start on the dashboard tab here where you can see uh, the breakdown uh, timing wise so we can see what happened within last hour we can see that 1150 events happened uh, here so we can select those and take a look that these are mostly the info areas here info entries so we're not really interested in those with this red icon here we most likely gonna see the errors so let's take a look uh, how many errors here happened within previous hour we have only one so we can take a look okay there is one error happened and we can actually click on that and drill down into see more details and as you remember I have extended the columns on on the login table so I'm actually logging more than uh, standard uh, log phone ad so I'm gonna actually add username and we can see the username is being logged here item ID cycle item ID which is our home page uh, and the raw URL so obviously something happened on the front end of the website so nobody was logged in and request was associated with the home page and we can see the actual exception stack trace and we can clearly see what what happens there is this control that blew up and we can actually see the full message after we click here so we can see the logger our HTTP module and we can see the full error stack trace and hopefully that's gonna be enough for us to take an action on it so what else is there here uh, we have logger summary which we were here before uh, the new log event section is gonna pretty much contain latest entries in your login database um, and what's interesting here we can use this filter section and filter out all errors for example uh, using this simple checkboxes which will give us all the breakdown um, by errors and we can see that today the 6th of August we're gonna have uh, only four entries here for errors and we we clearly can see where exactly they happen. This one looks like is a shell related, so that happened within analytics report runner. This one happened within email campaign manager module, and this one happened in the content editor. So again, we can drill down and we can take a look into the details, but well, that's that's pretty much uh, the whole idea about it. You you see the snapshot, what happened within last hour, within last day and you take an action. Uh, what's cool about it also is that we can now filter by any of the columns for example which username uh, was attached to the request right or what what was in the message if the message contains specific string or specific specific class name we're uh, looking for so that's all possible with the filters. We can also run uh, log cleanup so we can see uh, standard disk space info here uh, how our database with logs is doing we can see options in terms of uh, maintaining of our database so we can delete all entries older than specific date we can also delete all like warnings or info and compact that database in this way so pretty nice um, still requires some manual operation but good enough 
settings tab contains uh, some settings related to internal application this application so we can change adjust the uh, theme of this logger viewer we can flip the data source you can see my local SQL data source is selected because now my site is logging everything to a SQL Server database so that's basically a reference to that web config data source uh, that I, I have in my blog uh, description so I can I can change that if I want but I, I can pretty much flip the uh, template and now gonna have different presentation theme which is nice uh, but I found that the gray CSS theme actually works best for uh, for running this app within Psycho shell because it looks like it's clashing with the uh, standard desktop shell um, CSS a bit um, but that's that's pretty much it that's the tool here are some links for you the tool itself look for net dashboard uh, go ahead download try it follow the integration steps and see how it works for you uh, my blog if you have not been there check it out um, and obviously if you don't know anything about Psycore go and check out our website